Question number 10. A curve has equation y equals f of x where our f of x is given. The curve touches the x-axis at the point P and crosses the x-axis at the point Q. So part A, they want you to find the coordinates of P. It has only one mark. So you see here, when you read the question carefully, they say the curve touches the x-axis at P and crosses the x-axis at Q. We have learned in pure math 1, we have learned sketching the cubic graphs. So when you sketch the cubic graphs, we need to solve the cubic function first. When you solve this function, that means when you equate them to 0, you equate them separately to 0. So you will have x minus 4 is 0 and 2x plus 1 whole square is 0. That means you will get two solutions, x is 4 and x is minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. That means two equal solution. And we need these points in order to plot the sketch the sketch the cubic graph. So when we sketch the cubic graph, the graph will usually touches the x-axis where the x has two equal values and it will pass through the x-axis uh, uh, through the another point, the, the other distinct point. So when you sketch the graph, if it is minus half and four, let's say, the graph will touch the x-axis at minus half because we have two uh, equal values minus half when you solve this. So it will touch uh, touch the x-axis here pass through. So in your in your question it's given this is point P, this is Q. So you can find the coordinates of any point even if they ask you to find Q also. Q is 4, 0, our P is minus half and 0. So the answer for this question you don't need to draw all these things if you learn the sketching the cubic graph. By looking at the function, you can straight away say this has two equal solution. So the graph will touch the x-axis at this point, the solution of this. So the coordinate of P is when you solve this, you get minus half. And the y-axis, y-coordinate will be zero. So the coordinates of P is minus two comma zero. And that's the reason this question carries only one more. Our part B, they want you to find f dash of x. That means the first derivative f prime of x. First derivative of x. And this has four marks. So there are a little bit of steps in one. So we take the function f of x. And we keep x minus 4 as it is. Here apply the formula a plus b whole square. Which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. That's a formula. If you don't want to apply the formula, the algebraic identity is write it as two factors, 2x plus 1 into 2x plus 1 and multiply it. Now you need to multiply everything by x and minus 4. So when you multiply by x, it will be 4x cubed plus 4x square plus x. Then when you multiply by minus, it will be minus 16x square minus 16x minus 4. Now it's all about simplification. So our f of x will be 4x cubed and 4 minus 16 is minus 12x square. 1 minus 16 is minus 15x minus 4. That's it. We simplify the, the function already, the expression already. Now you can find the f dash of x. Just differentiate it. So it will be 3 comes here, 3x squared, so 4 into 3x squared, 12x squared, minus 12 into, when you differentiate x squared, it becomes 2x. So 2 into 12 is 24x, minus 15x, when you differentiate x, it becomes 1. So 15 into 1, and this becomes 0. So it is 12x squared, minus 24x, minus 15. That is what our f dash of x is. So the part b got 4 marks, not just for differentiation, because the differentiation is just only one step. You need to simplify this very carefully, because if you make a little mistake, if you miss out a negative sign, the whole thing will be wrong. When you look at the part c, they want you to show that the equation of the tangent to the curve, that means to the curve f of x, 
where x equals 5 upon 2 can be expressed in the form y equals k, where k is a constant to be found. That means they basically they want you to find the equation of the tangent. So if you want to find the equation of the tangent, first we need to find the slope. The slope means we need to use the derivative of the function that we that we got it in part b. So the derivative is f dash of x is which is 12 x square minus 24 x minus 15. So this is the derivative of the function. That means uh, this is a gradient function. You can uh, write it as d, dy upon dx or slope function, gradient function. So you need to find the gradient at a particular, at this particular point. So if you replace x by 5 upon 2, that's our slope. If you replace x by 5 upon 2 here, it will be 12 into 5 upon 2. You can write it as 2.5 square. 24 into 2.5 minus 15. Use your calculator to uh, find this. So you will get. So our answer is 0. <coughs> our slope is 0. So the equation of the tangent will be y equals mx plus c. Since our slope is 0, this whole thing will be 0. So the equation is y equals c. So y equals c is a so that is what they want you to uh, they want to find out they want you to prove equation of the tangent is y equals k. You can just uh, replace the constant c by k. So y is equal to k. But again, how do we find k? This is y actually. This is y. So if you if you put y is equal to k here and x value here, you can find the value of k already. So when you substitute x is equal to 5 by 2 here, our f of x or our y is, or you can substitute, uh, this can be written as k. Substitute y is equal to k here or f of x is equal to k here and x is equal to 5 by 2, we get 5 by 2 minus 4. 2 into 5 by 2 plus 1 whole square. So which will be 8, 5 minus 8 minus 3 upon 2. This will be 5 plus 1, 6 square is 36. Again you can cancel it out, you will have minus 30 minus 54. So the equation of the tangent is y equals minus 54. Usually how do we find this c? We replace, uh, we, we substitute the point actually, x and y coordinate, right? Our x coordinate is given, substitute here and find the y coordinate and everything plug in here, you got the value of c which is minus 54. That's it. Our part d, the curve y equals f of x plus a passes through the origin. So they want you to find all the possible values of a. So this is actually y. So our y is x minus 4 into 2x plus 1 whole square. So this curve, if you replace x by x plus a, x by x plus a here, it will be x plus a minus 4 into 2 into x plus a plus 1 whole square. If you replace x by x plus a, y equals. So this curve passes through the origin that means x coordinate y coordinate 0. When you substitute x and y is 0 here you will get the value of a already. So when you substitute x and y is 0 it is 0 is equal to a minus 4 into x is 0 it will be 2a plus 1 whole square. It is same like this equation only thing in the place of x you have a so when you solve, you will have a is 4, a is minus half. This is one method. Otherwise, if you look at this graph, the cubic graph, the graph will touch the x-axis at 4 and will pass through, <coughs> sorry, 
at 4 actually it will touch the x-axis at minus half and pass through at 4 actually this is the actual curve so in graphs and transformation we have learned if we replace x by x plus a the graph will be shifted left left side the graph will be shifted left side a units a units so when we shift this graph left side a units or uh, let's say when we shift this graph left side 4 units the new graph will be will pass through the origin the new graph will pass through origin if you shift by a units that means if you replace f of x by f of x plus 4 the graph will pass through origin so the possible value one of the possible value is value of a is 4 and again the actual graph take the actual graph take the actual graph and when you shift this graph when you shift this graph right side half units 0 0.5 units when you shift right side 0 0.5 units it will pass through origin again that means if you replace f of x by f of x minus half x minus half means right side half units the graph will be transformed right side half units again the graph will pass through the origin so the possible value of a is minus half so either you can use this method or just by using the graph you can say that these two are the possible values so this question got just two marks only so you don't need much work